Indian Rafael judge practicing night warfare and India to ban TV and laptops. India opens a new market for the optical fiber sea route or the cable networks to the Asian countries and to Andaman and Nicobar Islands. India's fine new Rafale jets are now undertaking day and night practice sessions. As these new Rafale jets are to be inducted at the end of this month at the Ambala Air Force Base. The practice sessions included higher terrain and lower terrain because the Rafale jets are capable of flying under the radar. Already, the Indian Army chief said the Indian military to get ready for a battle with China and Pakistan. If required, the five Rafale jets will also be used for emergency warfare. India has opened the doors for the new market access for the Asian countries with a new optical fiber cable network through the sea. India yesterday inaugurated a new project under the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, a 2300 km submarine optical fiber cable network which will connect the Chennai of India and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands of Indian Union Territory. The project cost 1,224 crores, according to the Indian Media News. This project is commenced and sourced by the NEC Corporation of Japan, along with the Department of Telecommunications of India. This can be a way to pull the Asian countries like Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos away from China. According to Shaimal Ghosh, a former secretary of DOT, India is already having an offer of $3.1 billion in the line of credit for the digital connectivity with Asian countries. The Indian government is considering a band like Custom Duty and 20 products, which are laptops, cameras, textiles, and aluminum goods, which are mostly imported from China. This move is indirectly focused on China, but according to an Indian official told to Times of India that this is not a China-specific duty action. A few weeks before, India put restrictions on TV sets from China. In fact, India is going to source these products locally and few other products from the Asian countries like Vietnam or Thailand. India already has a huge trade deficit with China. An estimation of $48.1 billion in 2019-20. Anyways, this is the lowest in 5 years. So what do you think of India's increasing custom duties on TV and laptops from China? Can the Rafael Jets be a game changer for Indian Air Force? And what's your thoughts on the new Indian optical cable networks through C? India and UAE complement each other in areas of business growth and the private sector are ready to support the two governments, a top company executive has said. The UAE is the 10th largest FDA source market for India, with the cumulative FDA researching USD $4.76 billion in the last 17 years from April 2000 till the March 2017. India's National Investment and Infrastructure Fund signed an investment agreement worth $1 billion with the wholly owned subsidiary of Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. As part of the agreement, ADIA will become the first institutional investor in NIFS Master Fund and a shareholder in the National Investment and the Infrastructure Limited, the NIFS Investment Management Company. The move is widely seen as a part of USD's $75 billion investment programming announced by the UAE in the August 2015 during the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, to Abu Dhabi. This marks a new beginning in our bilateral relationship that is going to be more specific and strategic in the years to come where India and UAE complements each other on the areas of future growth and national security, said Dr. Azad Mupan, the President of Business Leader Forum and the Founder of Chairman of the Assetor DM Health Groups. We as the representative of the private sector are also getting ready to support the two government realize their vision and objectives with our own investment initiatives, something that will happen or will announce at the two-day 
India UA Partnership Summit he said India's Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion recorded a USD 61 million dollars FDI inflow from UAE in the April June 2017 of this quarter UAE and India share age old ties whose foundation lies in the trade and investment The annual two-way trade between the two countries today stands at about USD $53 billion and the leadership of the two countries is committed to increase it by 60% over the next five years. While India remains US top trading partner, UAE is India's third largest trading partner. Along with UAE, Chile has a favor to India. Chile is open to support the candidature of the membership of India in APEC but all the resolution of the entry of the new country it's decided by all the members of the group pointed out by the former Chilean president Adora Frey head of the APEC summit in Vietnam next month Chile has an open economy and a stable institutional and the political system who installs a healthy business environment with 10 trade agreements signed between Chile and the Latin American countries the possibility to export and make business in the region or are maximized. Ferry told the Salak group of media here during his visit to push Indo-Chile economic partnership. Even more, Chile is one of the founders of the Pacific Alliance, the most successful integration movement of the history of Latin American region. Actually, its functions are becoming to be in a platform of political articulations, economic and commercial integration and projection to the world. with emphasis of the Asia Pacific region noted Frey I would like to express the trade agreement that India and Chile was established in 2007 and then expanded in 2017 is not a free trade agreement it's a preferential trade agreement the nature of this agreement is related to minus ambition of an FTA because it does not contain chapters related to intellectual property electronic commerce gender issues environment or investment among others and the entry on force of the PDA plus has been the 16th of May of 2017 only 5 months ago for this reason today is difficult to highlight an increase in trade on either side nonetheless i trust that the PDA plus will increase the trade in the same way that the trade exported non copper products have tripled from US 51 million dollars in 2006 to USD 178 million dollars in 2016. So what do you think of India getting the new and upgraded partnership with Chile and UAE where India has grown in economy and the trade relationships? Post your comments below and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. This is WC Daily. Think big. Think different. Bye.